so my single chats and toxic gamers coming at you with an emergency video right now because listen man everybody all right when i say everybody everybody's looking like this right now this is like the call of duty streets the call of duty community suckers are saying that call of duty 2024 will not be a call of duty game that's gonna be about call of duty but it's gonna be more like about Kronos warfare Bruh. Like the video, subscribe if you're brand new. Recently, I've been streaming a lot over on Twitch, which I will link you in the pinned comment. Definitely follow right there, but check this out. Roll it. I gotta say, I love when big content creators, pro players, like people that have a voice in the community, I love yeah. it when they speak up against Activision, when they speak up against Call of Duty, because when those guys speak up, Activision takes no. It gets a lot more publicity, right? Little old Nero Cinema here, or Blame Truth, or Eight Thoughts. Nero Cinema, Nero Cinema. Yeah, Blame Truth and Captain Canada, they have been like fighting around like blame truth says i caught dead captain canada says i caught in dead or thunder or whoever the hell else you know when we speak about things it does help i would say to an extent it keeps the conversation going it gets people in the community a thinking bit, and talking bit. but when big content creators like nate shot are speaking out against cod i love to see I, I actually hate the fact that it's like we talk peasants nobody's right and they can literally piss on our heads and that's fine but it's like when nate shot talks about it or these big content creators talk about it, it's like they take it for real for real almost as though they got like a bigger schlong or something like that come on man we also got a bigger schlong bro it's not just yeah this is captain canada it's not like it's not not just about friendly come on man we also have like enemy uavs online too sometimes dog see that because activision immediately takes note and what he had to say was actually pretty damn important so let's just go ahead and check important. that out so replying to a tweet on twitter regarding call of duty's anti-cheat and how they apparently banned six thousand accounts during this past weekend nate shot responded with this call of duty i love you i love all the bundles and customization that we've gotten this year despite most people's complaints it's a weird way to start it i buy them all all right but for what? real rico chat is absolutely terrible and regardless of data shared with the community it's not working ranked modern warfare 3 is played with cheaters i love all the bundles and customization that we've gotten this year Bumblecut. despite most people complaints i buy them all it is joe over guys it is it is just it is it's just over man like let's be real wait for the plot a plot is coming up but guys it's done man it is joe over Biden, you need to do something about this one. Cut Nature Chicken Nugget Supply immediately. That's an order from a brown man right now. And I don't even want to know what Resurgence looks like. You gave us the same game as last year's, which I honestly can't complain about. Gave us movement back, gunplay is solid, and once again, the in-game content has been great. You guys do so many things right, but can't keep up with all the missteps you take. Fix anti-cheat. This should be the biggest priority. Nate Shot is one of those guys that is like, I can trust Activision with my life and with my, my with my wife. I mean, come on, man. Like, bruh. Like you have internally. Then invest in higher tick rate servers. This might not be a huge deal for the casual player community and your marketing efforts but the impact i'm gonna come and slap the herpes off your lips big boy pact it will have on future titles and player engagement cannot be understated i love this game and we're on the right track but please fix these glaring issues you literally broke the bro code by saying you are on the right track. Come on, man. Get your ass out of here. Get more on, Choose before we start getting slammed with Wait news and it. marketing about this year's new title launch. Holy hell. Well said there, Nade Shot. The whole bundle thing there at the beginning was kind of funny. It's like, hey, I buy oh, your shit. bundles, so take what I have to say seriously. But, you know, what he's actually talking about? Fixing the anti-cheat. For me personally, I don't really run into a lot of cheaters. I think that's more of a war zone thing. As a content creator, as somebody who records or streams, every game that he plays yeah i mean i can tell that you do not run because you're playing on a console you're playing on playstation for the most part consoles are kind of safe they're like cheating proof in a way technically a little bit right because and especially if you turn off crossplay you're kind of safe at least for now for now oh, shit. you do not know right because there are new cheats that are entering the market uh we were hearing about the ai monitor that's like thing of the past i know that's new but thing of the past in comparison to what we just learned recently i will link you that video in the end okay wait for it ever i don't have any footage of these cheaters i really don't see them like i may have run into a couple of them i suppose i'm not entirely sure like there are some people that were suspect but nothing really that glaring yeah. or nothing really that obvious i definitely think it's a lot more on the war zone side of things and especially and especially on pc because console dog like you're if, if you if you guys are playing on console you're probably gonna run into one or two maybe that's kind of suspect like he's saying but if you 
you have crossplay on, then maybe a little bit more. But it's not gonna be too bad though. Because seconds are moving faster than the speed of light <laughs> in Warzone on the PC side of things, right? They're moving faster than the UFOs in the sky too. Yay! Wait in ranked play, like who the hell is cheating in 10v10 domination at 10 p.m. on a Tuesday? I mean, I'm sure there's some of them out there, but that's like when I'm normally playing COD, you know what I mean? So I don't see it that often, but the anti-cheat should def- Dopamine is one hell of, hell of a drug, dog. Like, sickers would do anything for that dopamine, bro. So you would be surprised. There are sickers that are cheating, but yeah, most importantly, most people are cheating in Warzone because it's free. For Modern Warfare 3, you gotta buy, you know what I'm be so. one of the biggest priorities that they have. And they keep talking about the Rico Chet anti-cheat, which I definitely pronounce correctly all the time. They keep talking about it, but it just seems like they're always gonna continue to have issues, which is bringing up this entire controversy within the community. Some people are saying, well, you gotta keep the anti-cheat the way it is. Otherwise, they're going to invade- Nero Shenema, Nero Shenema. In your privacy, kind of like what they do with the Vanguard anti-cheat, which is like this anti-cheat that happens the moment- uh, wrong. wrong. It's Van Garbage. When you boot up your PC, immediately the anti-cheat is running. It doesn't start running when you boot up the game. It boots up the moment you turn on your computer, and some people don't like that for security reasons. I haven't delved too deep into that. Apparently, there are pros and cons to having an anti-cheat that works that way. But also uh -huh. in his tweet, Nate Shot was talking about the higher tick rate servers, yeah. which honestly... And most importantly, he's talking about, you know, bundles are amazing. I love all of them. I buy all of them with my hard earned or not so much hard earned money. And everything you guys are doing is just fine. It is amazing. Yeah, you don't, don't want to forget that. That's what the homie Nate shots like. Honestly, Biden got to cut that man chicken nugget supply immediately, dog. Like I don't know how Call of Duty has gotten away. Like the video if you agree. With this for as long as they have, it really doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Like I'm hearing nowadays COD has 60 tick servers. Whereas back in the day, I think it was like a 20 tick server forever. And then for some reason, when Modern Warfare Remastered came, out we had 10 tick servers which yeah, made every gunfight feel very laggy like the game they were saving the money just didn't really feel that good because the servers were not running all that properly and i think Cole, yeah we were playing on dollarama servers Both of these servers in general are pretty damn shitty as compared to a lot of the other servers that you see on these big triple a games like why yeah. is call of duty which is like one of the biggest shooter games in the world having some of the worst servers in the world when compared to other shooter titles out there like for example valorant or maybe even something like i mean listen man and like they're doing helicopters with the release right now bobby just ended up getting like the 400 million dollars bonus for leaving activision <laughs> i'm saying doesn't really make a whole lot of sense so the fact that nate shot is calling out the anti-cheat the fact that he's calling out these servers is a really good thing but how he ended it was absolutely perfect because this is something that we as cod fans have had to deal with year in and year out and it's all due to the cod cycle but he says right there at the end i love this game and we're on the right track but please fix these glaring issues okay uh, the s as sad and as funny that might sound, to be honest, I feel like that. Listen, a Nate shot, big guy, right? Big influencer. Uh, obviously, he's not gonna go bust in mode. Be like, yeah, man, you guys are on the wrong track. One of the worst game of all time. <laughs> he's not gonna say that. And if he says that, he's gonna be like automatically blocked. He's gonna be shot down, metaphorically speaking, by Daddy Activision and by Uncle Phil Spencer, right? Uh, now that they acquired them. Uh, yeah, he's not gonna go too crazy. I, I get it though. So this is how you do it. You try to make peace and you speak with the language you live, right? You gotta be a little bit positive. But man, he was like literally down bad. He was like, you know, with his uh, D in hand and he was like, yeah, Activision, I trust you with my life and I trust you with my wife though. I mean, come on, Nietzsche. Like, just lower down that a little bit issues before we start getting slammed with news and marketing about this year's Next new pod, title yeah. launch that will it's always single. and forever be one of the biggest problems that cod has when they Thanks. release the game there's all that hype around it there's usually a bunch of bugs because the game is never ever finished by the time they actually put as soon as they reveal call of duty 2024 oh, oh, i'm shaking everybody's gonna be shaking yo to be honest i'm like looking forward to it a little bit though like i'm keen i mean, I mean come on it's treyarch right like after four years they're gonna have their game damn it so I hope it's good, and I kind of, you know, Treyarch is the last hope. I said that before, I'll say it again. Treyarch is the last hope right now for Call of Duty on planet Earth. Maybe on planet Pluto, they got like a different Treyarch that can make better games than uh, Treyarch themselves on planet Earth. Okay, that's like different, but we cannot reach Pluto in time yet, okay? Nobody want to go to Pluto, okay? Like, let's stay on planet Earth here, guys. Come on now, man. Like, Treyarch is the last hope. Like, do you see... Call of Duty killing it this year, yay or nay?
push it out, but they're on the deadline, so they push the game out. It's super buggy. They fix a couple of bugs. The devs typically go on their vacation because they've been yeah. crunching for the last 16 months, and then by the time they get back from their vacation, they're all... It's like fire in the studio. Everybody's going crazy. Everybody's like, they see the community wilding out, and it starts to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go, right? In the studio, everything is burning. Sick is going in left and right. Sick is are not, like, uh, talking about their... The most advanced UAV online, right? So, because nobody, like, when they come back to the studio, nobody talks about the friendly UAV online already starting work on the next Call of Duty title while also just kind of like maintaining post-launch support. I will say so far here with Modern Warfare 3, the post-launch support has been pretty damn good. The weapons that have come out, the maps that have what? come out, all the different events, that stuff has actually been pretty good this year, but I think it's due to the terrible sales figures that Modern Warfare 3 had. But you guys know what I'm saying here. Like, uh, every year... Oh yeah, to be honest, I did not buy Modern Warfare 3, so I do not know what he's saying, but if you bought it, if you bought it, do not look behind you. I'm talking to you. If you bought it, let me know. Maybe, maybe that's facts though. I, I mean, the thing that I gotta give credit to, credit where it's due, Sledgehammer Games has been better than Infinity Tard, right? Infinity Ward. They have been listening to the feedback. They brought the Miniman back. Although I'm kind of worried right now that Activision might think that this was like a bad change. This that they brought Miniman back, therefore people bought it less. I'm afraid of that because this, the reason this game sold less is because it's $70 DLC, remaster, recycled maps, right? The maps, I mean, they're from a beloved game, yeah, sure. But other than that, the game is looking the same. It got no content, no real content, right? It's like everything recycled. It's a DLC, an expansion pack, a patch, right? That, let's be real. It should have been for free. Or or let's just say, like, if you did not buy Modern Warfare 2022, then you gotta pay to get it. But if you got Modern Warfare 2022, it should have been free though like the video if you agree man and i'm kind of worried that they're gonna in with call of duty 2024 they might just change everything back to modern warfare 19 modern warfare 2022 with like no normal mini map right they remove it skill based matching it up that and all of that crap though i want prestige system back i want the classic call of duty back too though with new content obviously like content should be new but the mechanics sh should be improved like gameplay mechanics and i feel gameplay mechanics for call of duty they always have been good and they get better and better i have to agree with that the gunplay is always smooth it's always better than 99% of the FPS games on the market guys let's be real but the content is always stale it's always due to nothing is happening warzone free to play it's a massive game mode man like they should be thankful about that they should be constantly dropping events though but we never get events even warzone kind of dry as hell right now cheaters are the only thing that's keeping it alive in terms of discussion online which is sad because if it wasn't for cheaters Nobody would be talking about Call of Duty right now. You feel what I'm saying? But admittedly, the cheaters are giving us the content to talk about, but it's not what we want though. We want events. We want content. So the sales have been down for Modern Warfare 3 because no content and I'm kind of worried. Are you guys worried too? Do you guys feel the same way that maybe Activision is like, wow, right? Minimap bringing that back was a massive mistake. Let's go ahead and remove that in the next game. Do you guys feel that way or what? Of that same cycle where the game just it always feels rushed it never really feels complete and then by like yeah. the end of the game's life cycle when it's starting to finally feel kind of good in terms of the content that you have the bugs all being squashed and everything being smoothed out we're already in the hype cycle for the next call of the title to repeat the entire process yeah. once again where the game's gonna come out it's gonna be buggy they're gonna fix a couple of things but not all the things then they go on vacation then they come back and we have season yeah. one and we're usually disappointed by that and then we just have the entire cycle repeat itself yeah. over and yeah. over over yep. and over it would be fantastic you know, honestly like oh man i don't want to say that but honestly bro i'm excited to be hyped for call of duty 2024 getting the game and then being disappointed though <laughs> I, 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 I no but to be honest though like i i hope this year is different man listen man one bad call of duty after like three years okay i can take it but three bad Call of Duty games in a row. Come on now, man. Oh, in fact, some of you would say that, bro. Like, Call of Duty has been bad since Black Ops 2. I, I know some of you would saying that it has been bad, like, consistently every year. Okay, I'm not going to debate you, my guy. I'm not trying to disagree with you here. That's your opinion. That's your opinion. All I'm saying here is that I feel like that this time we can have a good Call of Duty for once. For once. And you know what? Two years from now. 
we can still have a bad Call of Duty game, guys. Bruh. I want two years from now, not like next year. This year I want a good Call of Duty game, and next year I want a good Call of Duty game because it's gonna be Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Remaster. We're here with new maps and recycled maps. Yay! Oh, oh. You didn't know that? Well, welcome back to Planet Earth, man. Maybe you have been spending a lot of time in on the moon if cheating were completely eliminated from cod i don't think it's ever going to happen i think there's always going to be this game of cat and mouse between the developers and yeah. the team on the anti-cheat and everything where they're going to be trying to squash all the issues whereas there's people out there and i don't know everyone needs a hobby i suppose but these people need a different one but their entire hobby they is need jesus bro and jesus need to make a comeback yo jesus uh i think right about now would be the perfect time but guys Recently this happened. I'm not sure if you got to see it or not. I'm not sure if you had the opportunity to see it or not Check this video out absolute and insane revelations. This is gonna blow. It's gonna knock the socks It's gonna knock the daylights out of your uh, your uh, you uh, I was gonna say another word, but I can't check it out and I'll see